She said it's all okay, yeah, it's all right, yeah, yeah, uh. She said it's okay, she said it's alright She said she loves me, so I'll be fine One of my bands, hundred at a time Ten toes down, I've been focused on mine She said it's okay, she said it's alright She said she loves me Alright, yo, so what is going on guys? It's your boy Bearlock2010. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to move your props into god mode spots. Completely invisible. Some of these spots are going to be completely, they're going to make you invincible. You're not going to be able to be seen. You're going to be able to wall breach through practically everything on every single map. This works solo. Uh, we're going to be showing you guys how we do this. And this method is really difficult. So if you guys can really pay attention and maybe watch the video a couple times through because it does take a lot of practice. But it is so, so worth it. As you guys can see, um, my brother right here, he's normally the wall that stands straight up. But we have it so he is completely slanted and he moves around like this as well. He can place decoys and run around and lock himself and do whatever and rotate. And so he's going to... One of the god mode spots that we did is we did this in a couple public games. He can completely breach through the wall. So if you go into that wall real quick. And he, as you guys can see, he's just going to turn and now you can't even see him at all. Full god mode, okay? This works in all public games. And, uh, he is literally full god mode. He's in there. You guys saw him come right in and right out. For some reason, this spot is full god mode. We're going to be showing you guys how to do this glitch. Uh, please, please, please drop a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys can. And uh, let's get into the tutorial, boys. Okay, so you guys can do this glitch on any map for prop on any map and in public games as well. And you can do it with any prop. You just have to know how to do it. It is pretty, pretty difficult, but once you get it down, it took me like a couple hours to get it mastered, and I'm going to teach you guys how I do it. Maybe you guys figure it out and do it differently, but I am currently the wall. I am on cartel. This is the biggest prop on this map too, so it is the hardest one to hide, but it actually hides pretty damn well. So I go over to this metal piece right here. You guys can use practically anything on the map, but this is just the easiest thing for me. So I jump, lock, and slope my character. If your character doesn't slope, then you need to get out of the spot and jump back and slope back into it. So once you have your character locked and sloped, if it does work, then you'll see it like that. Just simply get out of it. And if you jump and slope again, or don't, don't slope, if you jump and lock, it should auto slope your character back onto it. Just like how it did for me. I didn't slope that time. I just jumped and locked and it auto sloped. From then on, you guys are going to click your rotate, slope, and jump all at the same time. Just in one swift click, if it doesn't work, that is totally okay. You're just going to do the exact same thing, and it's going to auto-slope you. And if you're auto-sloped, don't worry. It'll You just got to keep repeating the method. So you jump, lock your character, and then click it all at the same time. It may take you guys a couple tries. You guys might not even get it for like the first hour. It took me, what, how, how long do you think it took, Wiz? Like probably like two or three. It hours. honestly took like a group of four people that are glitchers, avid glitchers, like four or five hours to master this glitch so once you guys get it you can place decoys you can rotate just don't relock your character or anything like that and uh you can literally just phase right into this wall and you're in complete god mode uh, i'm going to be showing you guys a couple spots in nuketown and other maps like that just because they're super fun and i really want you guys to have fun with this glitch and troll the hell out of people send me your reactions if you really want to on twitter that'd be dope but i'm going to be showing you guys how i do it on other maps as well so stay tuned, but this glitch is not easy. I know it's super hard and I make it look super easy, but it's really not. Um, you can use this, uh, you can use any prop in the game. Any prop in the game works. It's not super easy, but with enough practice, you can definitely get it, guys. I believe in you guys. See, I just did it on my first try right there. And uh, just loop right there and complete god mode. He can't hit me at all. I come out and he can hit me. I go back in. He can't hit me for some weird reason. I don't know why, but if you guys ever do this in a public game, I will find you and I will I will kill you. So, <laughs> all right, let's get into the next map, guys. All right, so everybody knows the map Nuketown and in Prop Hunt, the wreaths are supreme. If you have the wreath spot, you can hide in the fridge, you can hide on the side of the building, everything like that. Everybody knows that the wreaths are supreme. So, I'm going to show you guys the best props to use with this glitch. The Nutcracker and the horse are pretty good. And then you guys can use the Christmas tree and other big objects too to like hide. But I'm um, simply just going to show you guys 
how I do this method and everything like that. And uh, the best hiding spots that I'm going to use personally. And not a good enough rotation. All right, so simply just jump, lock. Kind of slow pretty well. All right, so the Nutcracker is really, really good. Like, I'm already hiding behind this spot. And if you were a normal player, there's no way you'd be able to legitimately find me unless you were, like, completely cheating. And um, there's no way. Can you even see me? I can see your feet. Barely, yeah. And then, I mean, if you guys don't have the wreath, you can obviously, you could go in here. You can be seen a little bit. Um, but the Nutcracker is pretty supreme on this. Like, you can just go hide in a random corner. And it's pretty freaking hard to find the Nutcracker. And it's really, really hard to shoot him when he's like this. Nutcracker's already hard as hell to shoot. Imagine him just going around like this, you know, and being next to impossible to shoot. Um, if you guys do not have a wreath, this is the guy to... Or the candy cane. The candy cane's really, really good for this map. But if you guys really want a good spot, uh, my brother found this one. You go over to their spawn and you hide in their garbage can like this. And it is really, really, really fun to just troll the hell out of them because i've i've had people come back here a lot and you just line your character up to where they can't see you and they just consistently spray the trash can they think you're outside of the map stuff like that um so the nutcracker is really really good for this map hopefully you guys are finding uh these helpful if you have other spots that you recommend i could try in a video please drop it down in the comments man drop a like in the video guys this takes so much work to do research on and try to we really really do try our best to come up with these glitch videos and help you guys out and doing the methods and trying to learn them and master them are really really difficult so if you guys can support the channel subscribe man um if you guys are really good at zombies and you guys want a chance to win a thousand dollars go check out my previous video i was doing one v ones against people for a thousand dollars if you guys beat me in kills you guys would win one thousand dollars so please go check that out if you guys are interested and i hopefully you guys master this glitch and you troll the hell out of some people let me know if it works for you if you guys need help i will be answering any comments that you guys leave i'm barrel 2010 and i am out